There is Les Miles, who had a national championship team last year at LSU. Wants his team to play more inspired down the stretch. And Bobby Petrino, in his first year as the head coach of Arkansas, coaching against Miles at Arkansas for the first time. This game and all SEC college football games are brought to you in crystal clear CBS high definition. And now the Tigers of LSU are ready to kick the ball off. Josh Jasper is the kickoff man. And some speed back deep. Dennis Johnson. Joe Adams are back for the Razorbacks. War Memorial Stadium, Little Rock, Arkansas were underway. Last year, Arkansas upset then number one LSU in a triple overtime game. Ball is run back across the 20 yards. LSU thinks they're going to throw 70% of the time. They're going to throw right now. And they make the connection, a downfield throw. Nicely done to Lucas Miller. 47 yard line of the Razorbacks. Nathan Dick takes a look. Long ball downfield. And the Hogs come down with it at the 30 yard line. And then they get the nice five yard run. And now down the field, this time it's the tight end, DJ Williams, leading receiver. And what he does so well is he goes up for the ball in traffic, comes down with it. He's got good size at 250 pounds. Off and Dennis Johnson finds a gap and the Hogs take it inside the 20 yard line Georgia but they're going to Dennis Johnson he's doing well yeah he runs well between the tackles watch the quickness right here that cut there makes two Tigers miss and then straight down the field after contact he got an extra 10 Nathan Dick in the shotgun right back to Johnson another gap and Johnson heading inside the 10 and he's going in it looks like no touchdown, there it is. There's a touchdown signal. With his first career touchdown for the Razorbacks. Great speed to the corner here. He just outraces the Tigers. Another true freshman coming over here, Patrick Peterson, for the Tigers is too late. Saw his opening drive for a touchdown. Kyle Scott. Scott in the eye back. He gets the ball. And Arkansas is ready for it. Power back averages 5.7 a carry. All of the Razorbacks 19. Nathan Dick. Beautifully executed slant throw. He gets it to Greg Child. And Dick, Dan, off to a really nice start. Three for three for 59 yards. And again, they bust the run. Dennis Johnson could take it the distance. They finally get him down at the nine-yard line. So they're finding something in the right side of that. 54 yards on this run for the, again, true freshman, Dennis Johnson, 5'7", 195 pounds, straight up the middle. And away he goes. And right now, his quickness is just surprising. Not so much the defensive line, but the linebackers are not able to. And Bobby Petrino on fourth down and goal from the one is keeping his offense out there. He's not going to kick it. Why not? LSU, an underdog on this one of their home fields in Little Rock. Nathan Dick under center. Keeping the ball. Dumps it off. Touchdown, Arkansas. Great play faking. There he is right here, number 82. Just a great job of play faking and uh, good hesitation there by Davey. Billy Robinson, a defensive coordinator for Arkansas, said of uh, Jordan, he can run, he can throw all year long. A former linebacker for LSU, Jefferson. They try to screen it, and Arkansas reads it is all over it. Top of the screen right here. Watch him react to this screen pass. And he gets inside the blockers. He's been winner. Yeah. Shotgun snap to Nathan Dick. Conley stands in, gets the ball downfield to Andrew Davey, is tied in, and he's all the way out to the in short order. Both were six play drives. Here is Holiday, the very fast trend in Holiday. Not fast enough. He should get played by Broadway. He doesn't hit him. They lose the penalty out, but it would have been a touchdown. He got him beat. Murphy now carries, and Arkansas stops that at the 25-yard line, a loss of maybe a yard on the play, second so down. So far for Jordan Jefferson. 
Your coach is telling us, Dan, uh, he can run by anybody, Demetrius Bird. Now, Jefferson uh, almost gets away, but they cut him down at the point. Running the show. Number nine has hit five of nine throws for 85 yards. This is Scott with the ball. They go to Williams. Arkansas can and might be checking off. Oh, there's defense, man. Helen Williams. Hey, Cliff Harris was a hitter, as is his son. Great reaction there. Smart play. Saw the formation, recognized the option was coming. His running ability. And then uh, the adjustments that LSU made. Uh, we'll see what Bobby Petrino has in mind for the second half. Number one, they're going to have to see a way of stopping Jordan Jefferson and the Tiger offense before uh, Dix. For LSU, and they give him the ball. Counter play. They come down on the elevator and march into a little pond. Here is the quarterback keep. And he gets into the a big fake by Jordan Jefferson. One step back and then looking for a hole, and that hole closes, closes really fast. Jericho Nelson, a true freshman, number 31, coming in from the right side of the screen. They're good, glad to have him. The strike. Eighth touchdown catch of the year for Brandon LaFell. And now uh, Dan Casey Dick has come in at quarterback. Throwing on the run makes a connection out to about the 28-yard line. So swing pass near side. First down and more. Jarius Wright. He struggled against South Carolina when they sacked him six times and came out of the game with a mild concussion. Here's a Dennis Johnson going wide. He's run out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Arkansas last December. Pitch back. Cross sweep to Dennis Johnson. Quarterback Jordan Jefferson, 147 total yards in the first half, passing and running, and now he goes to his big back. And Charles Scott. Jordan Jefferson with a shotgun snap again, uses his feet to buy time. Now running out of it, and they're going to sack him back on the front. And if he doesn't have anything, just sling the ball out of bounds. Don't try to make something, especially when you're backed up. Every inch is important here. If you get 46 of LSU. AC Dick lets the long ball fly. Wide open receiver. Touchdown, Arkansas. Jerry is right. And just a great throw. Little out move and then go. And then turn on the Jets. He leaves Chris Hawkins behind. And that ball could not have been handed to number four any better than it was thrown. So uh, LSU. The fastest, but also is in the backfield. Another toss pitch. He's got to get it away quickly. Here comes the heat. Steps up, throws on the run. Connection is made. And a first down for the Razorbacks to D.J. Williams. And a ball on the field. It's a live ball. And the freshman cornerback. Of course, the penalty negated as there's a fumble on this catch and run by D.J. Williams and the recovery by Patrick Peterson of LSU. Prior to the ball being snapped, LSU is trying to get a timeout called for some reason. <laughs> That's one of, one that uh, you know kind of things kind of even out because uh, Arkansas got a timeout when they shouldn't have, and LSU didn't get timeout called when they wanted to. So we'll see what LSU goes to if they take that. After review, video evidence showed that the ball carrier was down prior to the fumble. Nice throw and catch. And a big gainer up the middle. A nicely thrown ball. Shotgun formation for Arkansas. Dennis Johnson bounces off one tackler. Hazerbacks down by nine as we start the fourth quarter. Down the line option pitch. Back to Dennis Johnson and he gets ahead on a third and two. Hazerbacks challenging down the 30 to 21. Another pitch, Dennis Johnson. Works the sideline, comes inside the 10, and down there is the place kicker. So the long, long drive ends in uh, LSU on second and 10 from the shotgun.
long windup, incomplete pass off the hands of Terrence Tolling. Got to find a better number though. 50 is not a funner's <laughs> number. Oh, is it? Again, a negative play. Third down and 12. He calls his own number, and Arkansas is there. Right now, Arkansas down by six, and here is a throw and a catch. Beautifully executed. To Dick the as he moves in the pocket slightly. Try one that the flat route couldn't get it. Then he ducks inside a rusher and finds his outlet receiver over the middle. Need a one yard here. LSU comes hitting. There's that leg drive. Got him the first down. A yard short of the first down. But as he spins, he keeps his legs going with the back pedal this time, diving and picking it up. Look at that, 755 consecutive rush attempts by LSU backs without a lost fumble. It's unbelievable. 06 against Arkansas was the last time that LSU fumbled the ball away with their backs. LSU 7 of 15 on third downs this afternoon. Have not done well in the second half. You got the freshman quarterback playing with a six point lead. He here, don't turn it over. If you're LSU. Big rush. Swept under back of the 35 yard line. Number 11. Coming in in the second half. Casey Dick, uh, 12 for 20, 134 yards. Here's a catch. One for two on fourth down conversion tries today. This is fourth and six, and the game's on the line for Arkansas. A throw, a catch, and a first down. And the Hawks take it inside the first off. Arkansas still very much in this game on a tremendous fourth down throw and catch, and one of the Tigers is down. Well, you talk about taking advantage Tyson of your Jackson. opportunities. And a triple Jackson. overtime game at Baton Rouge on senior day for the Tigers. Arkansas 247 yards passing today. 164 from Casey Dick in the second half. Another blitz, another throw, timing it up. And again, the receiver, Greg Childs this time, 85, makes the play and works his way out of bounds with 109 to play. <laughs> Second down, over the top, defenders there. At 10, they went at Chris Pence. Razorbacks down 30 to 24 with no timeouts. Dick throws. Hammer hit put on at the 25 yard line. And he's short of the first down, too. Another fourth down. Clock running. 39 seconds to go. Joe Adams caught the ball. It's great to have a senior quarterback in here. He's not panicking. Most important thing is to get the first down. Don't worry about the clock. Just get the right play call. He's less than a yard. He's going for it all. He's got a receiver in the end zone. It is caught by Arkansas. London Crawford comes down with the ball. And with 21 seconds left to play, the extra point will probably give Arkansas a win. Still 20 seconds, 21 seconds left. What a comeback by the senior in his final game, Casey Dick. And a brilliant call by offensive coordinator Paul Petrino. Heck, let's go for the whole thing. Fourth and one, they're not expecting the bomb. But you got Casey Dick throwing a perfect strike. Here we go, Dan. We might have uh, this extra point isn't good. Another triple overtime game. <laughs> Why not? My flight's not till tomorrow. Let's see if Tejada can knock it through. He does. And the Hogs. Hog heaven. Up 31 to 30 on favorite LSU with 21 seconds to play. Now what can the freshman quarterback do for LSU when they get the ball back? Now not a whole lot of time. 21 seconds. He has three timeouts. The interesting thing is what type of kickoff will you employ? Let's go back to the touchdown. It's fourth and one, maybe less than one. Look at this strike. Perfectly clean play by Crawford as he reaches to the corner of the end zone. And what a way for Casey Dick to finish his Razorback career.
Tejada with the game winner, perhaps, right there. But Casey Dick, you deserve to celebrate until the wee hours. Happy Thanksgiving. What a wild game. Arkansas led in the first quarter 14 to 3. LSU came back, scored 27 straight points to go up 30 to 14. And now Arkansas has outscored LSU 17 to nothing down the stretch to lead by one. Casey Dick, 18 of 29, 197, two touchdown, all in the second half. Casey Dick making memories for the Razorbacks and their fans here in Little Rock. Great picture of him taking a handshake from his old time center, Luigi. LSU turns the corner on the return. Man, why do you kick off the squib like that? I know that Trendon Holiday's back there deep, but you got to trust your coverage team. Holiday's had a great return day, but now you're only 10, 15 yards from field goal range. I know you're going to be kicking in the wind, but Colt David has a great leg. Chad Jones, a safety in the block on the return. Gets the short kickoff, and now 16 seconds remain. The Tigers of LSU have their full complement of three timeouts as they trail Arkansas 31 to 30. A true freshman at quarterback for the Tigers. Jordan Jefferson stands in, lobs the ball up the middle, it's incomplete. Second down and 10, 10 seconds to play. Well, the receiver had to hurdle Wilbur Hackett, the umpire, across the middle. Check this out. There's Tolliver going high hurdle there. No wonder he couldn't catch the ball. The umpire's supposed to move towards the pocket, not stand still. Ten seconds to go. LSU looking to throw down by one. Long ball. Broken up by the Razorbacks at the 17-yard line. Two seconds left. You know, Don, with all their timeouts, they could have used a quarterback draw type of play with Jordan Jefferson to try to get into field goal range. Instead, they drop him straight back. He has the mishap with the umpire, and then on that play, he had no hope. And the only hope now is to throw the Hail Mary. No chance at all for a field goal now. And that's all they needed. Now we go to something from that Stanford Cal game back in the early 80s where everybody on the field might touch the ball. Now I think with, with the arm strength and the tall receivers that LSU has, you just uh, let young Jordan Jefferson air one out. Well, you talk about a game of swings of momentum. Arkansas 14-3, LSU then 27 unanswered points to lead 30-14. I think when the Tigers head back to Baton Rouge, they're going to be thinking about those penalties, Dan, that were so expensive. Yeah, they lost their poise on a number of plays. And here comes a field goal try of 63 yards into the win. Good luck, Colt David. Colt David is going to try to boom one. A 63-yard field goal attempt with a gusting wind in his face. about making memories if he hits this thing. Well, he hits it hard. I saw Tom Dempsey do this a few years ago, but not into a win, and that is it. Arkansas rallies some way down to win the game 31 to 30. Take a look now at the direct TV player of the game, and it is surely senior quarterback Casey Dick, who didn't play till the second half. It's a fantastic way to finish off his career after he gave way to his younger brother Nathan, who started the game well. But uh, the play of the game has to be this five star beauty on fourth and one oh. the game tying touchdown pass to Crawford from Casey Dick.
That is the five-star play of the game presented by Wrangler. A 24-yard touchdown pass, Casey Dick to Crawford is the decider. Now for Dan Fouts, this is Don Crickey. Glad you could be with us on a real thriller from Little Rock as Arkansas rallies back to win. Thanks for joining us.